Welcome back guys, you're watching today's Platinum and in this video we're going to be talking about the current price of Bitcoin as well as where we're going to see it going and also the uh, pattern that it formed not too recently. So um, if you guys enjoy cryptocurrency content, make sure to subscribe and also leave a like on the video if you enjoy and also in the description we have our premium trading course. Uh, that is the first link in the description and also go ahead and check out any of our other free resources uh, below in the description. So with that all out of the way guys, let's get right into it. So <clears throat> currently we do see a price on Bitcoin of around <clears throat> 7500 excuse me guys, it's early in the morning when I'm recording this, but uh, around 7500 so we did bounce back from that support level we were seeing around 73 7200 and then we actually broke down to 7000 7, and pushed back up, so I wanted to do some TA on Bitcoin's price level and kind of talk about that a little bit. So uh, guys, we're looking at the one day chart, and I'll go ahead and erase most of this so you guys have a more clear view and this up here so what you're seeing right now is this formation this little these two lines that I've drawn that is what's called a wedge and normally when we see a wedge uh, you're going to usually let me just draw it out for you. Usually you would see a wedge and see the price break up out of the wedge and go, uh, you know, move the price upwards or break down and move the price downwards. But either way, there's usually a large movement at the end of the wedge, which ends up um, either bearish or bullish, right? So we obviously saw a bit of a formation of a wedge and we also saw something else, something called the triple bottom, right? So you have a bottom here. I'll just go ahead and circle it. You have a bottom right there as well as right here. And now we also have one right there at 7,000. So we've bottomed out at 7,000 three times, which forms that triple bottom. Now, normally, what do we see when a triple bottom forms? We see, uh, you know, we obviously saw that huge breakdown in Bitcoin's price, the bear market, um, push up a little bit, bottom for a second time, push up again, and then bottom for a third time. So not only have we seen a wedge form, but we've also seen a triple bottom. And if we can continue moving upwards, I do expect us to move into a bit more of a bull period. I'm not sure if we're going to see a full on bull market for a, a, an extended period of time, but I do expect to push up from here and possibly break out of this wedge. Uh, considering that we did do a triple bottom and we have also seen this wedge form, I am confident in uh, that scenario. So um, just wanted to make this video for you guys, uh, not only to introduce a, a couple patterns, patterns for technical analysis for you guys, but also kind of um, hash out whether or not we are going to see Bitcoin's price, price move upwards. Uh, if you guys have seen some of my daily updates, we have talked about Bitcoin looking for key support levels. Um, one being uh, most recently around 7,000 and we did bounce up from that. We touched 7,000 and pushed back up, uh, went, went pretty high up, uh, pretty quickly actually now up to about seven, 7,400 and we've hit those levels before, uh, forming that triple bottom. So, uh, this is going to allow us to start to push up. And if we do push up high enough and push above around, um, 89 to 9,000, if you push above 9,000 and then see levels of 10,000 and even more, I do expect us to be in a more of a bull market, but at that point possibly see a retracement and then continue moving sideways and then possibly up. Um, my kind of prediction for the rest of this year is more conservative than a lot others. I don't really expect to move to 25K. I expect to push out, possibly come up and then kind of move sideways for a while and then push up towards the end of the year, possibly around to 15K, possibly to 20K. My only worry with 20K is that um, I think people get a little skittish of Bitcoin's price getting so high. I don't think there's a real valuation of $20,000 that we can really put on this thing. Um, overall, guys, if you guys really want to hear my opinion, I don't think Bitcoin long term uh, is going to be around unless it's for the reason of holding value. 
um, kind of a gold storage 2.0, but uh, that argument has been dished out quite a lot, and I do agree with that argument because it could be gold 2.0. People can use it for that. However, um, I'm just a little cautious when uh, th thinking about that specifically because um, I don't know if it's enough of a reason. So, um, you know, it is very possible and Bitcoin's price could continue to rise 50K, 100K, 250K. And there's even, even price predictions of a million dollars in the future. Uh, it really just depends on <clears throat> what we end up seeing uh, in the next few months in towards the end of this year and also following that. So um, we need to see the innovation we see in, in the space as well as more uses for Bitcoin. And then we can honestly make a... Um, a a good estimate on where we could see Bitcoin in the future. Uh, there's a lot of people that are saying Bitcoin in, is in a huge bubble, and there's also a lot of people saying it's undervalued. So uh, it really depends on what side of uh, what side of Bitcoin you're on, I guess. But honestly, guys, if this was in a huge bubble, um, I don't think we would have seen this huge crash and then seen it stabilize. Uh, if this was still in a bubble, I think we would continue to move down, which is still possible. Um, and if we do, uh, you know, I'll just still be buying more Bitcoin, to be honest, because, um, you know, not long term, but in the next couple of years, I think Bitcoin still has uh, a chance to recover and kind of update itself and be that gold storage 2.0 and possibly something else. So I'm not completely giving up on Bitcoin yet, but I just want to see how it performs. A lot of things that I've been seeing is other blockchains uh, outside of just the cryptocurrency market. So real blockchain startups, real blockchain projects, but instead they're on the stock market. They're legit. They're in the United States for the most part, and they're trading on the U.S. stock exchange. So um, I have seen that, and if we start to see an increase in that, I could expect this market to take quite a hit considering that um, it will just uh, continue to push more projects into the space and kind of take uh, the spotlight away from this market a little bit so uh, let me know what you guys think of the current price of bitcoin the triple bottom that we've seen um as well as what you guys think will happen uh for the next few months or so all right so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more content like this you know what to do make sure to subscribe and also hit that like button if you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video have a good one guys